when you come in in the morning, come over to the filament extruder and just turn on the PC power supply. It's just over here, it's a normal one. There's an on and off switch, it should be plugged in. Come back to the little screen here. Hit the button and then scroll down to preheat. So the first thing you're going to do is preheat the extruder, which is this thing here. This will get really hot, so don't ever touch that. So once you hit preheat, you'll see this temperature on the left here start to climb up to 185 and then it'll make a loud beeping noise. You'll hear it from our area. So you have to come back here and push the button and then wait for it to stabilize because the first beep means it hit 185 and then you come here, push the button and then what the software does is it stabilizes the temperature. So once it's done that, it usually takes about 15 minutes to get it nice and stable. And then you want to change the settings on it. So hit prepare and there's two settings you need to change. And I've actually written it on, on the board here. Pull the millimetres per second, set it to 2.5 or 2.6. We're just testing 2.5, makes it a little bit thicker. And wind RPM, it starts at 35, so change that down to 27. So once that's done, go back to main, and then you can test the auger. Now you've got to be careful, you don't ever want to start the, the motors while this is still jammed up, because what happens is, this is full of solid plastic before this gets really hot and this, this drill bit that runs through here won't turn and if you try and uh, start the motor when this is jammed you'll strip all the gears off the gearbox so just be careful of that. So make sure that can turn, make sure that's free to turn, which it is. It's a little bit, it's got a bit of resistance but it is turning and it's fine. So then come back to your screen and then say resume extruder so that It'll actually start the motors. So then it'll actually start pushing the plastic out of this nozzle. And what you can do is just gently pull it. Don't pull it too fast because it'll get really thin. And then we just feed it into this. There's a rubber roller on the motor and there's this little pulley wheel on the top. Just push it in the side there. Once the uh, plastic's coming through the extruder nice and even, I usually just chop it just where it starts getting thick so you can see how it's, it's thin here and then it suddenly gets thick and I'll show you why it's getting sick. Come over to our winder, it's the last step. Now the other thing I forgot to mention when you're starting it up is to actually unplug it otherwise the thing will just suddenly spin on you like that. So just unplug it, wait till this gets long enough so we can actually feed it into one of the one of the holes. These internal holes are for the start and these external holes are for the finish. So push it through the start hole and then turn the motor on. And that's pretty much it. One last thing, well actually I should have mentioned it at the beginning. So in here you can see the pellets and we've got to keep feeding that every hour or so. We've got a, like a can of pellets here. So what we do is just pour it in the top. And we keep it topped up. You really don't want it going much below this, this sort of level. So I check it usually once an hour. Just top it up and we're all done.